Hello everyone, Xenu and Zimmer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Coder. Last time, we came to enter this vocal base to get the accelerator, the accelerator for the swoop bike to save Bastila. Vulcan base is honestly not going to be too hard, but want to honestly try to clean this place out. God. Please don't hurt me. I just serve the food here, that's all. I'm not like these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. Well, all right. I still don't know how much help I can be. But I sure hope you get rid of all the Vulkers. I hate them. What? I I've never heard of such a thing. I guess it might be in the garage on the lower level. That's where all the Vulkers go to work on their swoop bikes. But I've never been down there. The elevator is protected by a security system. Only the Vulkers are allowed to go down there. Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Volker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave here in the kitchens. Getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Brezhik must have taken her somewhere safe. Now that you've killed the guards who were supposed to watch me, I, I think I could find my way out of here. I I'm free to go? You're not gonna kill me? I, I don't know how I can ever repay you! Thank you! Thank you! Uh, I have to get out of here before any of the Volkers see me! Yes, you should. She'll be fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The cook. The most dangerous man of all. The cook. They must be paying these guys shit. Honestly. Slice computer, stick bands. Open those security doors, log out. Because we went in here for this gear. These grenades will be helpful. This stuff will be help you. helpful, except for the mine. These won't be helpful. Well, they might be later, but not now. What a wama mulira, King Kunjo Peshak. No ba mulira ji. Johnny, you turung ji. We eat a dear. Ola una jinek. Ba mulira, slimo anga kunbis king. What are you talking about? 
You are a vulgar, aren't you? Chunyun <laughs> In kin kun no ba muli ra chin kun, slim apodona. Rundi hodonga kun honkabi. Chipedwana ni bobo. Tonk nabung shanun yang. Tonk patoga smaktelia. Kuya mi juz kachita. Nai patoga ya fulki. Kukula jiji. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa. Kankidora ti kun wata ti mana itabola. Tabis tiu bong konki pangpa. Ching palachiska muli. Tuni rana no prata dunk no sarcha doma wama kun bestoma. Nisha chilocha kin kun no ba muli raji kun. Well, can I get the pass card? Kunti chani. Mulira shunkturung umnit patoga on kachone tize. Ikratuk hatu chichiya. What are you makawama huhanek? Konti chani. Mulira shunkturung umnit patoga on kachone tize. Ikratuk hatu chichiya. What are you makawama huhanek? Okay. We'll let him live because he gave us some good info. So, let's use the security panel again. Let's overload the conduit. Returned. Nope. Return to root and log out. We'll level up these guys later. We got one pass card. Scoundrel's luck. Repair and treat injury. Oh, let's go. Long walk back. What? Right, this area. Cause this. Okay. Parts, computer parts, and a med pack. Pass card. And then the best can be helpful. And we're going lower. 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 
Now, this is the droid we need to work on. But we need to first deal with the guys down here and here. Let's try and clear some of these guys. Standard door. <laughs> Open the foot locker. There we go. Now let's go over here. I believe. Yeah, there is this, but we want to clear these two things first. We got some Pazat guards. One the area, and we want to open all doors. Let's go. Now with this, we're going to do something that's going to be crazy. Hey, Big Z. Don't take this the wrong way, but lately, I've No, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair is getting all tangled. And uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A trim, a splash. Two. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Give me a nice. I agree with Zolbar here. I know Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could create a whole new trend. No. Wookie on the cutting Don't. <laughs> okay, okay, sheesh. Try to offer some constructive criticism, and this is the thanks I get? Let's move on. You can just stay naked and scruffy for all I care. Don't ever try and dress a Wookiee. That just does not go well for anyone, especially not the Wookiee. Okay, now let's use our repair. And we don't want him to ram into the loading bay doors. Uh, and I believe we can use the spare parts. Yep. We want to engage those. And we'll bust that droid. And then we open this door. Because we got one more droid to deal with. And we can't get through. We're stuck. We got lucky. Huh? Now we've got a strong box. Gotcha. And this is unlock it. Simple. Yes! We've got some good stuff here. Some plasma grenades. Hmm? With this now yeah there's nothing here for some re for some reason
Now let's pick up the mine. Pick up the mine. Get every bit of experience we can get. What? I'm here. Let's use the workbench first. Let's put those on. Now, yeah, we've almost got as much, a lot of for this, but we don't want to upgrade that bowcaster yet. Because we're saving all that gear for another weapon that we'll get pretty soon, honestly. Barber before we go in, and we want to collect all this credits. Let's go in. Kuya mi juice kachita na ipatoga ya fulki kukula jiji kawana bota a ayut tagwa kang kidora ti kun watati mana isabola. Reshik stole that engine from Gaden. It was never yours to begin with. Karatum pa kun pa yia moka paata. Kinkin Kunoba Mulirachi Kun Tongna Buncha Nyunyang Kapabol Pamulchi Kamana Wanna check Yomi? Wanna vota Kuntitarati? Chichin Toma Tunka Kola Yame Twa Na 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 Kanki Chiki Nai Potoka Na wanna vota Kachichu Aitha Odunga Yinkin Kunoba Mulirachi Kun Slima Podona Rundi Hodonga Kun Hunkabi Tonga Bugsham Uninong Wanga Kun Beast King Bamulira Chuni Yun Tun Jiji Aithatuana Kavavolpa Muljui Kamana Manamana Tota Akuchika Tuk Pola Jishok Jonathan Chung King no Una Pank Bamulira Kun Kili Kun kili no pa, watati manyo kola una no ku mulira. Forget it. I'm not going to betray Gan. Ita na dana ita. Watayu makawa mahuhanek. Ashong turong unipatoga. Wana kun best ching palamul tongi. Smilia, ti onka to punta krita. Topana oto vascasa. Ajuta, wanga kun pistol piking kunyana. Tong patoga smagtelia. Now, went to face Cannon's bodyguard, Resolver. Because honestly, Cannon and Cannon. Bodyguard are the only ones that are threatening. Power attack.
said, once Cam's bodyguard, his main bodyguard is down, that's really all there is. Because they're not really a threat. Hair trigger. There we go. Let's recover that mine and leave. Huh? I'm here. Slap myself twice. Now let's get the swoop accelerator. And then we leave. There's two ways we can leave. The front entrance. Or we could go the long way around. I'm gonna take the front entrance. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Hmm? Huh? I'm here. Uh I wish there was a court too where it was much easier to get to the next area. And the pathfinding wasn't this bad. Right, I better also save because this is where things can get a bit dicey. Of course, after it, we don't need to worry because we just got the swoop bike race, which we can just save and wait same way uh the matches in the arena so All bars of shield. <laughs> okay, so we did check this. As you can probably tell, this is a new day. Day compared to the previous episodes. <laughs> because I know one of these guys probably drops. Apparently not. Well, let's return the Sweet Bike Accelerator. Go in. They're in bed base. And the last part that will be this long. I don't know why. You have, returned. you have the prototype swoop. Do you have prototypes? <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gavin, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. Accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. 
You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. Then we get to the one thing that's not great. The swoop bike race. No, I will not be going over the basics. Let's get racing. Yep, we're on our own. This means if a fight breaks out, we need to save. <laughs> Let's race. So swift bike racing is basically the precursor to pod racing. Except it's not fun. Press A to accelerate. Shift gears to use left stick to avoid obstacles and hit the accelerator pads. Start up. And then we can just every time it we get told to press A, we press A. I've gotten really good at this only because I needed extra money for something that I hope to show off. So I've gotten pretty good at this. But I don't like it. Oh, 
Just in case, because I have had in this version, because remember this is a Switch version, after going through the second race, the game crashing. So I have to save now. This does mean if recording fails, I'm screwed. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> two five six. Two five six. I, I believe I technically beat that. I believe he barely beats you anyway, so you can actually win easily. Except for your very first one, where you actually have to. Tracks are semi randomized, not completely. Twenty four could do better, but huh, don't care. Boom. <laughs> Maybe not someone from here. You're definitely a bear attacked. <laughs> People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. <laughs> You old fool! Your traditions are nothing to me! I am the wave of the future! If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me! I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of the Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! You want to avoid Brezhik, but before that, save! I'm saving on a second file, just in case I might have saved too early. There is a chance of that actually happening. We want to focus on helping Bastila. Now, before we go to attack Bregic, yeah, we want to let Bastila. Yeah. We want to ensure Bastila doesn't. And really, this is all it is. We want to try and make sure we don't get the feed. Oh. 
really, we're not getting this. We're not getting very lucky. This is going to be the long drawn out fight. basically rely on Bastille to win this. Oh, come on. Bridget, for a while, will be our toughest opponent, so thankfully it won't be too much. She learned a hit. There we go. Gather the remains quickly before talking to Bastila. We want to quickly check Bradjack because he's got some good stuff. All the stuff, really good. Especially that lightsaber. So maybe those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Arth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. <laughs> Not win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive. Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I am sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? 
You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is strange. Such visions are often a sign of false sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. And she is right. But before that, keep pressing the wrong button. First, Bridget's armband. This is actually pretty good gear. What happened to it? What happened? There. I glitched the game, and I don't know how. I did it. What is this? Oh well. Saves. This would be actually be pretty good. Chance fiber. And Bridgex. I might end up having to save and re reset this game because it's slightly glitching out. And that's usually a sign of it being played not too long, if it was only been 43 minutes. We want to bring Bastila. Let's bring Carf just to get it, so you can get levels. Carf will be getting not much use though. In Kinko no Bamuli Rachin Kun, Tong Hai Tong Kun Ching, Ni Bobo Jimata, Ni Pun Naje, Dolpi Kik Nyunyan. Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. Wana Kumbes. Jink Palamul Tong King Ba na Kongek. Tung Ting Tachun Kun Nek Muli Rabest. Shagji Kin Lord Jawa Tauma. Kava Bulba Mulji Gumana. King Kun Shachi King. Ni King Kun Oba Muli Raji Kun. We're soon out of tutorial. We're soon out of it. Don't worry. And now I can finally talk about Basla. Basla is a Jedi Sentinel. This is our first Jedi class we're getting to know about, but we won't get to talk more about it. But let's just say she got the worst class out of the Jedi classes. We'll need to buffer attack and buffer treating of of health. We want her to stun droid because the force powers are really busted. Powers. Okay, so S speed because <laughs> the closest we can get, and give her some awareness because otherwise she's not going to be useful. So, Basila is unique in that she surprisingly 
heavily relies on staffs, which are broken in this game, as I've explained before. This this is where you start to realize they are broken, because she can, to put it lightly, bust open so, so m many enemies. Right now, because of being a Jedi, she can only put on Jedi clothing, as well as special, special armor. However, being a Jedi, she's the only one that can equip a lightsaber right now. Let's give some more saves. This game doesn't have too much cosmetics we can do with lightsabers. The only thing we can really do is choose from three types, which we'll get to talking about once well, we become a Jedi. Spoilers. But for now, we're just going to go get, so, get ourselves some money. Don't speak to her. I want to get off Taras before we do any of that. Hey, look at this! If times weren't so tough, I... Sell, because we want to sell. Don't want to sell. We'll sell the Volker sticks because they're not great. Uh, keep those. Sell one blaster pistol. Sell these. These are not too great, so we're going to sell those. That might be good. That won't be. We want to keep the grenades. Where is it? There's the, there's the mines. Because the mines are not going to be useful, if at all. Simplified orders are useless, even though we Welcome. don't get any money from it. We've got better stuff now. Do you sell grenades? You sell some grenades. The amount we have... Concussion grenades are not going to be too useful. We do want to buy a few, so we're going to buy... Buy five. I don't think we'll need any more. But we we'll, might need. Because we're going in for more fights. After speaking to Candorus. And we'll get thrown into a cutscene as soon as we go in here. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. What are you talking about? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, Arna. I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, 
the Ebon Hawk. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander has sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Okay, Candris. I don't you sense got any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. And we'll let him walk out. Now, we'll start that, and what we're going to be doing here next time. Next time, on Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, we will get through all the contestants in the arena, and infiltrate the safe base. See you guys then. Zeno and Zimmer, 